Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Garage with Jorn and to another episode on my Porsche 94 Safari. In the previous episode, we installed the glass and the door handle and all the other things that was required for this door to work. And we also did these headlights. And um, I still need to adjust them because they are a little bit too far inwards here and there's too much of a gap down here. So I need to adjust those, but I'll be doing that off camera because that's quite fiddly work. I installed a brand new latch. It was quite expensive, but it's worth it because it's something I'll always be seeing and I wanted it to be nice. The previous one was very, very badly corroded. Um, some of you have mentioned the uh, reservoir tank that is not looking great, and I agree, which is why I already have one waiting here for the past year. But uh, I wasn't. I want to do mechanical work when I do mechanical work and cosmetic work when I do cosmetic work. So this will happen when I start doing the engine again because I still need to time this engine properly. This was timed by ear, um, so it needs to be done properly. And I need to do some pressure tests on the on the um, K jet as well, and I need to do a smoke test. So there's a lot of stuff that needs to happen to this engine still before we button that up. And I have installed a beauty cap on top of my battery uh, it was lying around here as well for about two years um, but i've got that one in there now and what i've been busy with is just prepping the inside you can see these carpets are nice and black again i've been working to just get them to to get the sun faded gray out and get them to be nice and black again i'm preparing where the seat rails are going in I've given them all a coat of black paint again so that when they shine through the carpet, it's not, not uh, scratched and rusty. So that's getting along really nicely. And if we look here, you'll see that this door is also completely installed, including its rubbers. So that's all coming along very nicely. And if we look at the back of the car, you can see that I have been installing carpets again. These guys have also been recolored. They're nice and black again, not that silvery gray that you get after a couple of years in the sun. I'm gonna continue completing the carpets because I've got exciting news and that is that there's something else that came in. I now have a huge amount of seats in the garage and that are these guys. One there, one there, one there, and one there. This has been reupholstered by a company in Germany and they just arrived a couple of days ago. So these guys will be going into the car and these guys will be going back to Germany to get reupholstered for someone else. So join me in this episode as we do a lot of stuff. At least we're gonna try and get the carpets done, get the interior ready for seats. Maybe I install those seats. And if I have time, I'll do the dashboard. Otherwise we'll do the dashboard next time. So sit back, relax, and let's start working. So what we're going to be doing now is to color the carpets. Um, I do this with Motip uh, satin black or matte black, it doesn't matter. As long as you use the same brand and the same color, um, it works like a charm. So what I've done, you see I've, I've vacuumed all of this carpet again. I've probably vacuumed this 10 or 15 times already. Um, ideally you should wash it, but I don't think it's necessary. And um, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm just going to paint the carpet so you lightly dust it with a paint and you take a rag and you rub it into the fibers. Um, this leaves the carpet soft and supple like it was, but it falls in this silvery gray that you see here from the sun damage. Within the next couple of minutes, we'll have a nice black interior, all black interior instead of some gray and some black. Here we go. Five minutes later. Right, 
right, now that we've sprayed most of the carpet, you take a microfiber towel and you work the paint into the fibers. This will ensure that your fibers do not get hard and that you have good coverage because obviously just painting it like with a spray can is not going to give you the coverage that you need. You have to rub it in and then you will start seeing spots that need a little bit more paint than you've given it. Why am I doing this? Because I prefer the fit of OEM carpets. The original carpets just look better. Alright, and there you go. Now you can see the carpet is nice and black. There's no more of the sun faded silver left in the in the fibers. And if you touch this fiber, it's still nice and soft and supple. There's no hardness around anywhere. So what you can also do as a last step is just vacuum again to make sure that you got all the dust out of the car. But uh, in essence, this is all you need to do if you want to recolor your carpets nice and black. All right, so the next thing I want to do is address this insulation mat that sits in the back here. This guy is pretty much past its prime. It's all stuck together with tape. It's brittle. It's just not good anymore. And I've got some of the same insulation mat that I used to build the 968. I've still got some of that left. So I'm going to get that cut and put it into the car in three, two, one. And there we go, a new insulation mat. You can see this is now closed cell foam. If I go to the one that's on the floor here, this is what came out of the car. It was just uh, basically felt. So you know that this will be a lot better at reducing the noise inside the cabin. Good news is I still have enough of this left to do a mat for there and for there. And I can just shove it under the carpets, which is um, gonna make the car a lot more luxurious and soundproof. So I'm gonna get that done. And I have also already done the coloring on the hatch carpet, so that can go back in as well. So I'm going to get this carpet installed, and then the next thing we're going to do is start putting in the rear seat. The following day. We're making really good progress. The carpet is in, and as you can see over here, I am transferring the carpet from my old backrest onto the new backrest. It's basically just removing the hardware from the back of the carpet. Uh, a couple of brackets and a couple of things and then putting them back and stapling the carpet in a couple of spots very straightforward job to do you can see my blind is still over there the blind will go back on as well still and what i'm going to be doing now is to unpack the bottom of the rear bench and install that into the car So that's the rear bench installed. I think it looks absolutely amazing. I'm really happy with the quality. This is as close to OEM as you can probably get it today. The only thing still missing are these quarter panels and because on the quarter panel I can install a bracket that allows this bench to click into. So at the moment the bench is just sitting on there loosely. It's attached to the bottom hinges but the top is not completed. 
So we'll have to wait for that until I've done the headliner. And the good news is that we have now painted the exposed metal at the front here and also at the back, which means I can install the headliner. But for me to do that, I think I want to sit in a seat when I'm doing it. So um, I'm going to keep on working on the seat. So the next thing for me to do is to put my old seat rails onto the new seats. And you can see them lying here. I've given them a thorough painting and cleaning so that they look nice when they go into the car. So I'll get those installed now. And then once that is done, we can get the seats into the car. And there we go, seats are installed and ready to go. They look absolutely fantastic. So that's a nice result, I'm very happy with that. I promise you that I will get to this dashboard either in the next episode or the one after that. I will 100% get to it before I do the windscreen install. It just gives me a bit more room to maneuver. So that will happen uh, within the next couple of weeks. But for now, this is where I'm ending the episode. But if you've watched this far, thank you very, very much for supporting my channel. And if you are not yet subscribed, please consider doing so if you want to see me finishing off the car and be notified of the next episode. Anyway, guys, until the next time, goodbye.